welcome to the Ring 20 Family Conference 2017. So what we're going to do today, we're going to listen and you're going to write about your dreams and what you want to do with your life. We wanted to get together with families who were experiencing the same and to get some perhaps insights so we could increase the quality of life for her and for us as a family as well. So what's VNS? It's a non-drug treatment for epilepsy. This is not a treatment that promises seizure freedom. Some people do achieve that though. So Dale has been living with Ring 20 since I was eight years old. I'm doing level three psychology and counselling. I think very early you need to get a child neuropsychologist who has some expertise in epilepsy and understands the impact of epilepsy on, on learning and behaviour. Uh, one of the most important things to me is uh, to recognise early. Uh, we think that uh, if it's stopped early, can avoid uh, the further deterioration in the children. What we want in general is independence. Also, we've actually been doing um, research looking at how best to identify and treat behavioural problems but also emotional difficulties, so depression, anxiety, um, in children and young people with epilepsy. There's one thing that I like people to do. It's not everyone, but there are some people that are like it. And it's to relax more when they're around you. I, I, I don't, this sounds strange, I know. But it's like, it, it, can, it makes you tense. And we've been doing some more research on both ring chromosome 20 as well as ring chromosome 14 to try to understand why, what is a ring doing and how is it causing seizures? If he's a medical team, we talk about, you know, are things improving with his seizure control with the treatments that he's having and what about any side effects and it's getting that balance right. We've never got full seizure control but we've got to get optimum quality of life. Professor Cross had 25 children who had access to cannabidiol given on a compassionate use basis and we had 40% responder. So it is not a magic bullet but it does provide some hope for the future I believe, personally, any one of these could, could one day make a life for themselves. The world needs to know more about it. Everybody knows about cancer and leukaemia and all these other things that can go wrong with us, but this is something that's just kind of unknown. So getting the word out is, is what would be good.